I find the best teachers are the ones that can adapt to the situation at hand. If you know the class, you have this much material to teach, and, and you sense from the class that they're not getting it, or they need to go in a different direction, or a conversation takes you in a different way, then allow yourself to do that. Allow yourself to adapt your material, your content, sacrifice everything for the sake of your audience and, your, and, your, and your, the people you're trying to reach. So if you can learn to, in the moment, adjust on the fly based on the context of what conversations are happening, then I think that is a much better experience. And it is a challenge because it can come off, and I you know, typically say this, it can come off as a epic fail or it can go really well. And I'm willing to take that risk. Uh, but for the sake of the audience and, and what they need for, for learning. You know, we all have the same amount of currency in terms of time. Time, no one else gets any extra more than anyone else. And so when you actually spend time with someone else and pour your life into someone else, that is huge. But if it's done poorly, there's too many cases that I've seen of lost hours, lost parts of your life that you'll never get back uh, due to poor teaching and poor engagement. And it's so rampant and it's, it's unfortunate. Whereas it could be a good meeting, it could be a great session, but done poorly, everyone um, is just left without the, the, the proper knowledge and excitement and you know, encouragement or uh, energy that they could have had if it was taught well. And so I try to continue to ask myself, would I want to sit through my own training? If I answer the question, no, that's a problem. So I actually ask that myself a lot because I want to make sure that it's relevant, that it's engaging, and I uh, continue to challenge myself to make sure that it is so.